top six secrets in Zendesk. Hi there, customer experience community. This is Dominic. Welcome to another video. Before we begin, I realized that only 7% of you are subscribed to this YouTube channel. So then that means that 93% of you are watching these videos and are not subscribing. So guys, come on, help a guy out please subscribe. Today we're going to look at six secrets that you absolutely have to do in Zendesk. Quite the heat wave in Europe, huh? In spite of the weather, we're here to make uh, these videos to bring you value. We're going to focus on secrets well kept in Zendesk. Some of these secrets you'll see that are common sense and that can be used in any platform. Use only these two service level agreements. First reply time and resolution time. Service level agreements are, as you know, a commitment to you, to your customer, that you are going to answer them within a timely manner and you are going to solve the request within X amount of time. Now this all depends on your niche and every business is different. However, in Zendesk, when you use service level agreements, it it is very easy to get taken over by the need to maybe solve everything at once. You won't necessarily be able to if you don't know the system very well. Having a decade of experience, I've noticed companies trying to use all the SLAs at once. So using first reply time, next reply time, agent wait time, customer wait time, response time, etc. That is too much and you can go very easily overboard with trying to do everything at once. The best kept secret is to use only two. So if you want to go very simple on it to get used to service level agreements, just start with the first reply time and then use the resolution time as you get more accustomed to this. This way your agents will get used to how these work and as they grow accustomed to them you can add more complexity. That is adding additional service level agreements. But start with the first reply time, add the resolution time afterwards and this is all you need in order to keep your customer satisfied because first reply time makes your customer seen, heard and uh, that somebody's on top of it and resolution time makes sure that you get back to them in a timely manner and you solve the request which is amazing that's all you need the next two secrets are going to be related to this first one using the first reply time I'm going to give you some best practice metrics for you to try to achieve in order to keep your customer satisfied for example for live channels like chat and phone And that's about a sensible time for you to get back to your customer with chat or phone. You're seeing that it was a bit awkward to wait? That's a sensible time, around 20 seconds. I know, this is ideal scenario, but try to keep it below two minutes for live channels for your customer to wait for you to get back to them by, by chat or phone. Now, for social media, it's a little bit different. You can get back to your customer within, let's say, one hour. Below one hour is good, it's okay. If you can keep the same kind of rhythm that you would, for example, with chat, it would be amazing. But, you know, you're not a robot, so, try to keep it below one hour. So social media, meaning WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Line, and whatever else you might use. For the classic channel of email, for example, you can keep it below two hours. Third tip for Zenda Secrets, is using the resolution time. I'm going to give you some metrics for best practices on times you need to target in order for you to achieve great results. Resolution time is the time it takes for a ticket to come into the system and until the agent solves it. The numbers here vary from niche to niche. For example, in the food industry, Obviously, you need to have a resolution time before the food arrives, right? If the customer doesn't get the food or, you know, your resolution comes three hours after the, the food arrived and the order got mixed up, you know, that's a fail. And travel companies, for example, try to get back to the customer until the trip day, right? So before the day of the trip comes. It is travel season in the Northern Hemisphere, so, you know, people are traveling right now for vacation. So if you get back to them after the trip or after their flight, you know, you're too late to the party, they will never use you again. For the fintech sectors, the banking sector, for example, usually we see a time of, of resolution of two days, two to three days. Now, obviously it depends from use case to use case. Sometimes you need to escalate to somebody else. It's, a, it's an issue that doesn't have anything to do with you. But as a best practice for whatever kind of industry that you're in, try to set a longer expectation. Like, say you're going to fix something in three days and fix it in two days. Give your customer a nice surprise and they'll be happy and they'll come back and do business with you again. Fourth, Zendesk best kept secret is set the right expectations. Always be transparent. This is a very common sense kind of rule and it applies into every kind of niche and every kind of business. Be transparent. Try to be open with your customers just like in a relationship. You know, the more transparent you are, the more you want to address the issue, the better 
understanding you'll get. People oftentimes try to avoid responsibility by delegating it to the future without necessarily a right expectation. If you want to address something honestly, you'll be able to be more successful because people will gain trust and they will trust you and your brand. So always be transparent. Even if you need longer time, you have a high number of tickets coming in because it's your busy season. Try to be transparent with that and say, hey, we're experiencing a longer response time because our agents are busy. So we'll get back to you within three days, within two days, within five hours. I don't know what your what your honest time is to get back to the customer, but you need to be transparent. This is what it takes. At least they will know and they will have the right expectation. And if you also beat that, just give yourself a pat on the back, you've done well. Always say the customer is communicating with a bot. Tell them I'm a bot and I'm going to be able to help you with these issues, these five issues, these three issues, even two. For anything else, try to talk with some of my human colleagues. Customers will appreciate and maybe they will actually start engaging with your bot because people still are not as happy to engage with a bot, especially the older demographic. So 50 plus, they don't like chatbots. I don't like chatbots, I'm 38. I know that sometimes they're iffy and itchy and they can get annoying if I'm not necessarily very clear on what they can help me with. It's a much better best practice to let the customer know what you can help them with and that they're communicating with a bot. Always communicate your offline hours. Our agents are not in right now. They're available starting from nine, starting from eight, starting from 10, 11, if you want, if that's the time the agents come to the office, but they are available within this interval and within outside of this interval, nobody's going to get back to you. You set the right expectations. Also, if your customer communicates to you in another language that you don't support necessarily, but you are able to somehow navigate through by using translations, you know, your agents don't speak that language, but they can manage because they're experienced and they can translate it and, you know, find the appropriate wording. Say that your request is in a different language than we support. It takes a little bit longer than usual. So please be patient. Somebody will will get back to you, set the right expectation, make people trust you more and you have nothing but to gain. Another secret is use omnichannel routing. Omnichannel routing is a new feature from Zendesk that is available for you to use and it's amazingly complex and amazingly flexible to you. What you can do with it is you can assign capacity to your agents based on the channels that you offer support in and the type of request that you are answering to. Now, combine this with skill-based routing, so combine this with agent skills essentially and you'll be able to have a very well structured routing system let's push the brakes a little bit on this it's a very complex feature that works out of the box however you have to have a good conversation with your team leaders and with the rest of the team honest conversations about the channels you offer support in languages the skills of the agents the tier support and also the for example the customers type of customers and type of requests that come into the system this all has to come together with honest conversation and direct conversations about how you handle things and your capabilities of skills. Omnichannel routing can work for talk, it can work for messaging, it can work for email, essentially for any of the channels that you offer support in. But a well-rounded conversation has to happen. So talk to an expert, talk to your team, and you'll be able to harness the power of this new feature. You don't want it to do more harm than good. You want it to be helping you rather than slowing you down. WhatsApp limitation. As you know, in Zendesk, uh, integrating with WhatsApp, there's a stupid rule from Meta. After 24 hours, if somebody reaches out you can't reach out to them so it's it's dumb but it's there but there's good news you can bypass it so what this means is if, when you integrate Zendesk with WhatsApp if your customer reaches out and says hey I need help and 24 hours have passed then you no longer are able to get back to this customer it's a limitation which prevents you from doing that so if you somehow lose some of these conversations customer has to get back to you again and they're going to you know uh, tell you that uh, hey uh, you're not getting back to me they're already upset and that can be too late so so you don't want that to happen to your customers. The way to bypass this is you can use Zendesk Sunco Conversations. In Zendesk Sunshine Conversations, you can create a mini app that uh, creates a template in Sunco that allows you to essentially reach out to customers after longer than 24 hours. This way, after let's say two days or I don't know, even 24 hours, you can create an automation that uh, reaches out to the customer and says, hey, we're sorry, you missed it. Don't worry, we'll be able to uh, get back to you within, I don't know, uh, another day or so. But in the meantime, can you please provide us with whatever more information you need in order to help them solve the request? This way, you'll make your customers feel seen and that you haven't forgotten about them. So yeah, it's a win-win for everyone. Okay, so this has been the update for this week. I hope this brought you value. I hope you like this shirt. And don't forget to subscribe because, you know, only 7% of you are subscribed. So please subscribe. Come on, guys.